Lynn has now dropped the lawsuit that she filed against a Silver Creek man who hung up a display of swa stickers and various other symbols that she found offensive. Well, Channel 2's Dave McKinley sat down with her today to find out why she's withdrawn her case just five months after filing it. It was one year ago when we first reported about the dispute between neighbors Jeff Martin and Todd Schilling, which both sides say began after some of Martin's chickens got onto Schilling's property and Schilling claimed his dogs got oral cancer as a result. Things escalated with each side accusing the other of various forms of harassment, including but not limited to Schilling hanging this display on his fence facing his neighbors. With no ordinance in place, the town couldn't force him to take it down, neither could police who determined this was protected as free speech. So the signs have remained through summer sun and winter snow. Back in March, a lawsuit was filed not by either of the parties in the dispute, but by Catherine Kasher, who lives in nearby Forestville, and brought an action against Schilling, claiming that having to drive by and see this caused her emotional distress. Were you truly emotionally disturbed by this? Yes, I was, and I feel like it's a normal reaction. And she also thought that if Schilling had to go through the time and expense of defending himself, he might just take this stuff down on his own. But five months later, she's dropped the suit. Why did you drop the suit? Because of the fact that, um, because we did have to use emotional distress as our cause of action, they, um, the defense would have the right to go into my medical files, and I wasn't willing to let that happen. It was too big of a sacrifice for the odds of winning the trial because of the strength of the First Amendment. Something First Amendment attorney Paul Cambria noted when we asked him about this when that lawsuit was filed. Well, I think it's a very difficult lawsuit to win. And as it turned out, Schilling later hired another lawyer in Cambria's firm to represent him. So what now? Do you just, if it truly did emotionally disturb you, do you just now avoid that area and going by it? No. <laughs> I, even, I have to go by it even more now. My goal now is to have the community confront the issue of hate in our town. And how might they do that? How might that I would like the itself? town board to to make a statement, even though they legally have no apparently ability to force them to take it down. She plans to petition the town board to adopt a resolution so that it might go on record to at least publicly condemn the display. Schilling, by the way, was unavailable for comment today. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.